In this video, I will show you how you can blend a lion and a tiger together to create this one. Alright, let's start off from the very beginning by creating a new file. I'm using this for Instagram, so usually I take two times the size Instagram uploads this image, so that would be 216 by 2700. Resolution, all the other stuff doesn't really matter here. 8 bit matters. Alright, let's create and first I will import this photo. I found this photo on the stock website and this is a really good photo for a free stock website. So this is amazing that I found this one. So I will, first I will make this bigger. If you hold down Ctrl T or Command T, I make stretch it out like that and put it in position. I also want to create some guidelines here because this photo is really big now. So what I will do here is create like a square for this image, copy this, and put it above here. And with these guidelines, if you don't see these guidelines, you can press Ctrl Command R, R on, on your keyboard, you can make these lines. So with these lines, I'm making sure his eyes and important stuff stays in this square. So you can always see that on my profile. All right, next photo is this one. This one is not as good quality as the other one. So I couldn't find anything on the pre-stock website that was the same. So I have to do it with this one. Now, first I will do here is drop the opacity here. So we can see both of these photos. And the only thing I have to do here is to make sure his eyes are at the same spot. Let me enable this. So you can see here, his eyes are not at the same spot. I want to make sure these eyes are at the same spot. If you have the eyes at the same spot, you have to look at this nose. This nose needs to be, well, a little bit at the same spot. So we need to make it smaller. And let's just stretch it out and move it around until it gets something that I like. You can even stretch it out by holding down shift. So actually you're transforming this face a little bit. It doesn't, it's not that good to do that, but whatever it's an animal, you won't see that much. Let's do it like this. A little bit, maybe smaller. We can even make this smaller. All right, this eye is important that it's at the same spot, so it doesn't look weird. All right, before I start editing this, doing all the light effects and all that stuff, I want to make sure this quality of these photos are the same. So I want to create here a mask on this layer. Select gradient. Make sure you have white to black. If you don't have white to black or white to black, press D on your keyboard. And let's get rid of one side like that. Now you can see this nose is at the right place, but whatever. I want to make sure this quality is a little bit the same. You can see here, this quality is better than this one. So we need to fix that. So first I will do here is press on this layer, go to filter and open up camera raw filter. And here we can increase the quality. So I want to give it a bit more sharpness. So if you click on this one detail and you go to sharpening, you can increase the sharpening to give it a bit more details to a bit of luminance so it doesn't look bad quality like that and that's pretty much it for this one to make the quality a little bit better than it was right that fits better now let's move this around so we need to make sure his eyes are at the same spot so it doesn't look funny and his nose so we need to make this smaller you can here clearly see that the line has a much bigger face than the, the tiger so you can see it as mouth doesn't look right so for that i will leave the mouth of one animal instead of doing like half and half so with this i can just let's first get, move this around maybe a little bit like that select this mask and just pick a normal brush zero zero hardness here and just pick one side. So either you take them out from the from the tiger or either from the lion. Like that. All right, it looks a little bit funny already. So as you can see here. So I think it's better to use the one from, from the tiger. So I can just brush this like that. And now we can see this start to look like something, but not, not really like done. So let's fix this. I'm just gonna brush it, leave it like this. We need to fix these colors. 
So this is too much yellowish. I'm gonna create hue and saturation here. And let's drop all this color. You can even select yellow here to get rid of these yellow colors like that. Now let's do the same for this line. So I'm gonna also create the hue and saturation. And here I can also drop this. Let's make it almost black and white. All right, now we can brush some parts again. I wanna move this around because it feels like this eye isn't at the right spot. Maybe a little bit down. We can enable this to see where it needs to be. It needs to be a little bit to the right. So let's move it around. Right, this looks okay for now. I can always brush some parts later on. What I have to do now here is to make sure the colors are the same. So this is still too yellowish. Let's make this a little bit red. I'm gonna create color balance here. And let's give it a bit more like blue. So it gets a little bit more reddish. That's already better. All right, I think this looks okay for now. Let's work on the design itself. Let's first make the tiger darker. So with the curse, I can do that. And let's make him slightly darker. So you have like the same lighting as the lion. All right, let's now work on the lighting for both of these images. Let me put this in a folder. I select this all and put this in a folder. Now I can create curves on top of those and let's first make this darker. So I have this dark now. Now I'm gonna select this layer of it. Select the black brush and start brushing some areas that I want lighter. I wanna create like there is coming light from somewhere on the top, like this side, like that. All right, let's create another curves layer. This time I'm gonna increase the contrast. So I'm gonna bring this center a little bit down. Let's do it here and bring this up. Like that. All right, this is a little bit too dark. So what I'm gonna do here is make this slightly lighter. And also bring this down like that. All right, now we can do some dodge and burn to get more, more light here. So I'm gonna create a new layer and fill this with 50% gray. Change the blend mode to overlay. And now I can select the dodge tool here in the menu and start bringing areas to light again. Let's do highlights, the eyes. Also this, I wanna make sure these eyes are really light. And let's do some here, a bit here, also a bit here, all right, that's I think that is enough for the dodge here. Let's create the same 50% gray layer on top of those, change it to overlay. And this time I'm gonna do some burn to get some more details here. So with this burn, I will select here highlights first, around 40, 30, 40%, and make the back side a little bit darker. Also here around this eyes, this one. In the center of this, a bit here, its mouth, like that. Now let's drop this to mid tones and also do some mid tones. So basically, I'm just brushing around the edge here and a bit on its face, like these darker areas. Like that, and also do some shadows here. Right, don't want to do this too much or else it will be too dark. So this was before and this after. Now it looks a lot better. And this is our dodge. I'm gonna drop the opacity here. Right, let's change the color of the eyes. I wanna have like the same color eyes. So I'm gonna create a new layer. And let's first select 
just a random color doesn't really matter we can change it let's do something blue like that now select the brush and make like this selection of the eye let's do different layers for both of these eyes so first one is this one and this is the other one this eyes and the only thing we have to do here is change the blend mode to color so you can see here we have this blue eye and also this one is blue now let's select both of these layers press ctrl e change it to color again so i have one layer for these eyes and if i press ctrl u here i can just change the settings of these eyes so for instance if i want one another, another color i can just move this around and select which color i want but let's just leave it like this maybe slightly less color in it so it doesn't look fake like this i think this looks nice right i can see here there is some things that i need to change here so i did some brushing in the beginning here you can see here we need to brush a little bit away here because this doesn't look right so i will do this like let's see you can do it like this if it doesn't look weird let's get rid of this just want to make sure this doesn't look weird. i think this looks fine now it's really difficult to see if this is a line or a type and that's exactly what i wanted or this is also nice Let's do it like this. Maybe this. Now let's leave that one. Maybe in the back. I think this looks fine. Now you can can tell what this is. All right. Now we can do some final adjustments here on the lighting. I'm gonna create new curves on top of everything and bring up these highlights and drop this one. So we have a nice contrast here. This looks okay. Next thing I would do here is press command alt shift E or control alt shift E to, to make a duplicated version of this. And now I can just get all the final things right with camera raw filter. So if I go to filter camera raw filter, I can make like final adjustments here. So for instance, a little bit more contrast, maybe. Let's increase the highlights. Let's make this darker. A little bit less texture here. Let's increase this one. Let's get rid of some of these colors like that. So this looks a lot better now. And what I would do now is add a curves on top of this. Make the slider. Let's leave it like that. Let's do some green here. And some blue. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one.